Hi, I'm Brandy Shampoo with Exploring Expression, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Sunday at 7. Welcome to Sunday at 7. Um, I hope you had a great holiday and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, mine was low-key, the smallest. Um, ate together with one of my good friends, Crystal, and just had a good, a good at-home moment. And I know a lot of us are spending Thanksgiving this year, or did spend Thanksgiving this year in smaller groups. And there, there's, there's value. There's value in the simplicity. And so I hope you took this moment to appreciate that there can be as much value in simplicity as there can on the years when we have grand gatherings and celebrations with extended family. And, you know, while I loved this year doing it with just my son and and good friend and I I can't wait next year I hope we'll be able to go back up to Connecticut and spend Thanksgiving with my brother and his family um, like we have in the past so welcome welcome to Sunday welcome to Sunday evening welcome to Sunday at 7 so I have a great I have a great lesson or message or something that I wanted to share with you today. Um, but before we get into it, before we get into all that, I wanted to remind you, if you haven't seen our ad, I wanted to take this moment to remind you that tomorrow is Cyber Monday, right? And if you haven't finished your Christmas shopping, this is a fantastic time to do it. And I encourage you to head over to the Exploring Expression store at exploringexpression.com where we have some great new products. Not only can you get your 90 days to your better expression, this is a journal experience. And this is a fantastic, um, fantastic gift for the adults. Another one we have is my new book, Hearing Is Not Enough, uh, My Guide to Being a Better Listener, which is something everybody could use in the holidays. But for your children, for your children, my brand new book is just released. It's called Virginia Possum's Pouch. Here it is. Virginia Possum Pouch. And you can actually get a bundle with the book, the workbook, activity book that turns a book, simple book into a whole unit study and a great little... Um, feelings, a feelings journal. Um, once you've read the book, and I'm, I'm sure I'll read this book on my YouTube channel at some point, at the end, the teacher gives her a little book to write all of her feelings in, and you can get one for your child as well. So, now that we have all that out of the way, right, let's talk about timeliness. Timeliness. So, there was what I was going to talk about timeliness today and then there's what I will be talking about today so when I first when I first came up with this topic I intended to talk about schedules I intended to talk about schedules but I'm not going to do that um, I will eventually talk about schedules and the importance of having schedules and keeping schedules and how to make schedules and how that how your schedules can help bring peace and order to your life but I'm not going to do that today Today, I want to talk about acting when the time comes to act and waiting for that moment to arrive, right? Um, as I was doing my, my prayer and meditation this morning, and I was thinking about the Sunday at 7 I was going to talk about today, I happened upon the verse in Ecclesiastes that talks about, for everything there is a season, right? A time for every action under the heavens. And over the last year, there's been so many changes. And really throughout the story of my life, it's, it's a series of leaps of faith. See, timeliness is all about taking a leap of faith. Both in the waiting and in the acting. So... I'm going to give you a couple of tips, three tips, to help you get a attitude of timeliness. Now, what is an attitude of timeliness? An attitude of timeliness is the idea that things will happen when they're meant to happen. 
that things will happen when they're meant to happen and I'm okay with that. And yet I am poised. Are you poised? I am poised to take advantage of the moments when they get here. Are you ready to take advantage of the moments, of your moments when they're coming to you? How can you position yourself? You know, we're in the last month. This is the last month of 2020, right? And, and 2020 has been a rough one. It's been a rough one for a lot of people. And one thing I tell my tell children all the time is have faith. This too shall pass. But the key is when it passes, will you be poised to act? Will you be poised to move into your best expression when the moment arrives? How are you preparing? How are you preparing now? So a couple of things. So tip number one, you ready? Tip number one. We need to understand that everyone's schedule is different. That everyone's schedule is different. That the moment for me may not be the moment for someone else. And we need to live our moment and our truth. You need to live your truth and your moments, not someone else's. Because their schedule is different and that's okay, right? We all move according to the schedule of our life individually. And sometimes, you know, um, I heard a great talk um, by me and Dr. Frazier several weeks ago now, and it stuck with me. And I keep coming back to it and coming back to it and coming back to it. And he said, don't spend major time on minor people, right? And, and that could mean so many things. And then at the moment I was like, yeah, that's right. Let's do that, right? Um, but, but as I reflected upon it later, as I've reflected upon it later, it tells me, it's spoken to me that your time is precious. Your time is important. Your time is finite and it's yours. It's yours. It's your time. How do you choose to spend your time? Timeliness is so important. Making the decisions on how we are going to spend our time because in the end, it's our choice. In the end, it's our choice. Tip number one, understand that everyone's schedules is different and live yours. Tip number two, you ready? Tip number two, we only have three. I only have three this, this uh, week. So, Tip number two, have patience, but prepare. Have patience, but prepare. Some things you see results right away, right? The importance of timeliness. You know, we have this thing, the initial, the initial title of today's talk was called White Lighting, the importance of timeliness. <clears throat> and I know some of you may have seen the ad that says White Lightning. I'm, that was something completely different. That was a typo. It was actually called white lighting. And what it is here in um, St. Mary's um, in, in Georgia, they have this event every year. Now, they didn't have it this year, but every year previously, they have this event called the white lighting. And there's a huge parade. There's a huge parade down Main Street, right? Small town. It's only got one real big street down the, the street. And at the end of it, is Santa coming along and Santa comes along and they have Christmas lights the entire the entire street the median and buildings on both sides and all this historic stuff is all strung with Christmas lights and as Santa passes it the lights come on the lights come on do you understand what a feat of planning and execution and timeliness that had to go into turning on the lights right as Santa passed. Right as Santa passed. Because you didn't want to turn them on too early and you didn't want to turn them on too late. That moment, that moment was what made it magical. 
And the same is true for our lives. Now, we may have to wait for that moment to arrive. If you're standing way down here at the block, you're going to have to wait for a hot minute for Santa to reach you. For the magic to get to you, get to where you are. Right? But when it gets there, are your lights plugged in? What can you do now? What can you do today? What can you do this week, this month, to prepare so that when the moment gets here, when the magic arrives, you can act? Be patient. It will come. Your moment will get here. Sometimes we have to walk through some fire, right? Sometimes we have to, you don't become a diamond without pressure. I say that a lot. And, and we may be going, you may be going through the pressure period now, but your time to shine is coming. And will you be ready? Are your lights plugged in? Right? So, number one was Understand that everybody's schedule is different and that we need to live our truth. You need to live your schedule, the timeliness of your life. Number two is be patient, but prepare. Take steps now. Take steps now to do what you need to do. You know, and, and we love to travel. And next year, Exploring Expression is going on the road and doing all sorts of traveling. And hopefully we'll get to meet a whole bunch of you. Pandemic notwithstanding but we have to start preparing now you know now we can't go out and meet a whole bunch of people right but we're waiting patiently for that moment when we can and we're preparing now we're putting the putting the wheels in motion making the the uh, the plans and the hotels and the trips and the all of these things that we have to do now so that when it opens back up and when the time comes to travel, we'll be ready. What are you doing in your life to be ready? Because your best expression is coming. It's coming for you. And that brings me to tip number three. The third and final tip today. You ready for this? When the time comes to act, act. I think that often is the hardest thing of all of it. When the time comes to act, act. You know, I remember years ago, um, before I moved to Georgia, I lived in Oklahoma. And I had gone through a rough, rough period. If you see me on some of the other podcasts, I've, I've talked about it a little bit. Um, and was kind of floundering in my life. Um, and then the time came to act. And I got a phone call. I got a phone call about a job I had never applied for that said, um, hey, have you ever heard of Georgia? Have you ever heard of Brunswick? And I'm like, nope, nope, <laughs> sure haven't. And, and the person on the other line said, well, we have a job for you. We would like you to move here right now, right? And I had spent years and years, I mean, Oklahoma was a place once, you know, my family was done traveling, I had decided to settle. This was my home. It was surrounded by my family, my brother and, and my friends and my adopted family and all of these things. My life was there. And they said, we'd like you to move. How about now? And, and I had all of these responsibilities and all of these hundreds and hundreds of reasons why now is not the time. I would love to move. I would love to travel. I would love to do these things, but not now. Right? How many of us, how many of you have thought that way? I would love to dot, 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 comma, but. I would like to dot, 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 comma, but. And um, so I hummed and hawed and I went to bed that night. This is, you know, several years ago. And I prayed and I said, Lord, if this is what you want me to do, you have to find a way. And the following Monday, I get another call and they said, hey, did we mention we pay relocation? And I went, I'm listening. When it came time to act, act. Take a step 
on faith. Because sometimes that's what we need is just just a little bit, a mustard seed, right? The, the faith in a mustard seed to bring you from preparation to action. When that time is comes, are you preparing now? So the key is, the key is, be patient, understand that you're working on your schedule. But do the things that you need to do so that when the universe says, now is your time, you can say, I'm ready. What are you doing now to get ready for your time? And, and you know, this probably would be a much better topic closer to the first of the year. The beginning of December is kind of a weird time to, um, to talk about timeliness. However, 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 so many people start preparing on January 1st, and that's not the right time. You need to prepare now. What are you going to do today? What are you doing today, this week, this month? Because your best expression is waiting for you. It's waiting for you. And I can't wait to see it when it gets here. So, that's it. That's it. Timeliness. The importance. How important is it to understand your part in the in the time and in the path of your life? It's going to be a great, great season and a great next year. So many things. So many things are happening. And whether you're in a, a bright moment or a dark moment, what, whether you're doing pretty good or whether you're doing not so good, this too shall pass and better things will get here and I hope you're ready when they do. And I hope to see you there. So until next time, don't forget to like and share and I hope you'll click the notifications head on over to Exploring Expression and subscribe and reach out to us because we're here for you. We're here to connect with you and help you. And so if there's something that you need, make sure to let us know. And until next time, I'll see you later.